Hey guys, I'm Brandon, sales manager here at Swift Canoe and Kayak. We're gonna go over the, some quick tips here on how to get your dog comfortable in a Swift Canoe or Kayak. All right guys, so step one, I always found the, the easiest place to start is right on dry land. You wanna start on the shore, get them comfortable with the boat. So I'm gonna sit in the, in the boat, the pack boat, the canoe, whatever it's gonna be. I'm gonna say, Ollie, come. Tap the inside of the boat and get them to sit down with me. Now, when they're a puppy, sometimes it's hard. They're a little shy, a little timid. You can use treats, coax them in that way. You just wanna make sure they're comfortable. All right, so tip two guys is getting him in the boat, in the water. So you wanna get your boat in the water and you wanna make sure you're entering the boat before your dog is. All right. So the next part, once you're in the boat, you're comfortable, you feel stable, um, you're going to invite the dog in and you always want it to be on your command. So what I'm going to do is I generally want him in front of me where I can control him um, and make sure he's not going to jump out, lunge at something. So I'm going to say, Aldi, come in, come and invite him into the boat. So now that we're in the boat, we're not in a rush. We want to make sure everyone's comfortable. He's, it's going to feel unfamiliar to him, right? He's a little familiar with it now, but you want to make sure that you rock the boat a little bit, make sure he's comfortable, um, make sure he's not going to want to jump out, chase something that might be swimming by. Um, so yeah, just get him comfortable with the way the boat moves once it's in the water. Another thing I find really helpful is when you're out on the water, you're not always going to be this close to shore. Um, so I like to always make sure that I, I have him between my legs. Um, if he decides he wants to go for something, I can kind of squeeze and just let him know that you're staying where you are, you're here with me in the boat. Um, whatever's out there can stay out there, but you're not going for it. Um, but yeah, it's good just to have control of him, make sure he doesn't do anything unpredictable. Um, especially when a dog's new to the boat, they might they might want to jump or go for a swim or something like that. So you just want to be, make sure you always have him within reach. You often see people paddling with their dog up by the front of the boat or at the stern. Um, that's great if they're trained and comfortable, but uh, yeah, you hit a, a side wave hits you or something, the dog's going in the water, the whole boat's going to start rocking. It's, it's just not a great recipe. So yeah, keep them close when you're learning and then you can sort of change it up from there with whatever's comfortable. The next tip that I actually think is really important is your dog's always going to feed off of your energy, whether it's in the boat or outside of the boat. But when you're in the boat, you want to remember to be calm. Even if you're new to paddling, you're a little unsure, you're not quite comfortable, you want to project that you are. Um, their energy is going to match how you feel in the canoe. So you want to stay calm, make sure that they're, uh, they're comfortable and, and not feeding off any sort of um, anxious vibes that you might be putting out there. All right, guys, so last but not least, you're both gonna have to get out of the boat. Um, and we're sort of mimicking what we did when we got in the boat, is you wanna always make sure that the dog's getting out first. So I, what I usually do is I say, Ollie, out, and I tap the dock. Good job. All right, guys, so there's some quick paddling tips with the dog. Everybody's gotta start somewhere, and um, yeah, I wish you all the luck in the world.